Step one, lay out your equipment. Play around with the layout to see what works best for your gear. Remember to leave enough space between objects. Plus, it's important to check the foam is deeper than your object to ensure it's fully protected. Once you're happy with your layout, trace your equipment. Grab a Sharpie or a felt tip pen and trace around your gear. Pro tip, you can pick up one of these extra long tip markers for precision tracing. Step three, cut along your markings using your knife. First, measure your blade depth against your gear to ensure the perfect depth of cut. Then hold your blade at a 90 degree angle for a clean cut. Step four, remove unwanted foam. Keep your finger under the foam to peel out what you don't need. Step five, test the fit. If anything doesn't quite fit, Repeat steps three to five as required. If you'd like to create finger holes for easier access, simply place a 20 cent piece where you'd like to grab your gear and trace around it. God damn, it looks a little big. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Make them smaller for the next one. <laughs> it's all a learning curve. And there you have it. Custom cut foam in five simple steps. Layout, trace, cut, remove, and test. Come up pretty well. Let's go put it in a drawer and see what it looks like. Twelve seconds later. God damn it, where's the shifting spanner? <laughs> <laughs>